hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 6 assignment of the course introduction to industry 4.0 and industrial internet of things course so friends uh, if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video guys definitely like the video then only our videos will appear in suggestions for many other students like you so help them uh, to visit our videos and get benefits for them and also please share that video with your friends classmates as well as within your whatsapp student groups so that other students your fellow classmates will also be able to watch our videos and get benefited guys so please help others as well as us to get benefited so i hope these are almost all of these solutions are 100 percent correct and if there are any rare differences with our with our solutions and actual solution if you found that then please uh, give your opinion in the comment section positively so that we can uh, correct that and please before the final submission once again visit this uh, uh, video so that if there are any changes we will upload uh, update in the comment section so let's see the first question guys which type of voltage does lm35 temperature sensor generate so for first question the correct answer is option a guys analog analog type of voltage so mark option a guys now let's move on to the second question guys for the past five past five years we have been giving these solutions guys so with that experience only we are continuing to do these videos for you so we need your support so please like the video guys your number of likes will determine uh, the support we are getting towards you towards us uh, from you so please do that guys so don't forget to like the video definitely like the video guys so second question temperature sensor ds1621 is a dash type of sensor which generates dash bits temperature data so for second question the correct answer is fourth option guys it will uh, it is a digital sensor and generates 9 bits temperature data so mark option d guys now moving on to the third question so third one which of the following is the application of ultrasonic sensor ultrasonic sensor so for third question the correct answer is option d guys liquid level monitoring of tank and trash level monitoring so these two are the correct answers for fourth i mean third question that is fourth option option d next moving on to the fourth question now so fourth one what is the baseline resistance of a sensor so for fourth question the correct answer is option a guys resistance of the sensor material in air when not exposed to the target gas so guys if you are differing with our solution then you can please give your opinion in the comment section positively guys so we will look at it to update the answer but i think most of these solutions are 100 percent correct moving on to the 15th question i mean i mean uh, the fifth question right so fifth one so fifth question which type of sensor decreases its resistance with respect to the baseline resistance when exposed to a reducing gas so they are asking uh, redu reduction in the i mean decrease in the in its resistance right so for fifth question the correct answer is option c guys n type sensors n type sensors so mark option c guys next moving on to the sixth question now sixth question guys so sixth one define the sensitivity of a gas sensor 
so for sixth question the correct answer is option b guys it is the change in the output signal with respect to unit change in input so mark option b guys moving on to the seventh question now seventh one which of the following protocol falls under the category of industrial ethernet so for seventh question the correct answer is option c guys time sensitive networking tsn so mark option c guys next moving on to the eighth question now so eighth one what are the two units defined in the modbus tcp data frame so for eighth question the correct answer is option a guys protocol data unit and application data unit so these two are the correct answers guys i mean uh, these two are the units for modbus tcp data frame so mark option a guys now let's move on to the ninth question now so ninth one which of the following network topologies are not supported by either cat either or so before moving into this ninth question i want to make a small announcement guys you already know that i think so we here for exam preparation mcqs we have prepared and collected guys so we have uh, the, uh, we have collected the previous year questions as well as handmade questions guys so we have prepared and collected these questions with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have gathered these and prepared guys so here there are two packs available the normal savings pack and the other one is super savings pack guys so here you will get a pdf access google drive link guys so in super savings pack you will get the na uh, like its name you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys there is a savage also because for 300 mcqs you will get that for just for 500 rupees only guys and up to 5 members access will be provided so 5 members of your classmates can form a group and you can share the combined prize of 500 right so individual pricing is not there guys you have to uh, you have to purchase for 500 rupees only if you are five members then it will be benefit for you right because for each person if it uh, takes just 100 rupees if you share with your friends right so form groups with your friends and you can purchase this pack guys all these five members will get the 300 mcqs access guys so all their five five email ids will be given access for this mcqs and if you see this savings pack you will get 150 mcqs but the price is doubled guys so 150 to 300 right so the price is doubled but here the price is not doubled in mcq 300 mcqs pack that's why it is super savings pack guys and also for this only three members will be provided access but here up to five members access is provided and the topic coverage is high here but it is medium in here and for both uh, such option is available guys this is the main important thing because if you want a particular question no need to revise all the questions you can directly search a particular keyword for of that question and it, it is also easy to revise both of these because like here it is also both of this uh, here it is easy to revise guys because you are getting pdf so you can easily scroll the pdf right even going to the exam hall also so if you want any of this pack message me to this email id guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for already many students have taken that guys and uh, my suggestion is it's better to take 300 mc uh, mcqs pack guys because you are getting more number of mcqs it here it is not about total price here it is about how many mcqs you are getting for each uh, rupee you are spending right so here you are getting more number of mcqs that which may lead to better preparation and also it may leads to better grade also guys so it's better to take 300 mcq spec already all the, almost all the students are uh, taking this 300 mcq spec guys and there is also other another uh, membership guys so it is this one guys youtube membership it is a video format not mcq guys this is video format and this youtube membership is only for one person so for one person it will be 119 rupees guys and it is only for one month out one month guys not for uh, till the exam day it is only for one month 
so if you want this no need to ask me you can directly go to our channel page s kumar edu and there is join button right so click on this so there are three packs available select 119 per month pack here 119 per month pack and click on join and make payment directly to youtube not to me that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these videos guys not one subject whichever video we upload in this members only pack you will get that guys here you can see iot 4.0 part 2 is uploaded and similarly part 1 is all was also uploaded guys so here you can see part uh, so here you can see that right part 1 also uploaded so you will get all the subject videos for that 119 rupees only guys no extra pricing but here the problem with this is here uh, you will get here 100 plus mcqs only and also it is only video format guys no need, no search option is available no search option so it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack guys so message me to this email id if you want that so now let's get back to the solutions so ninth question which of the following network topologies is or or not supported by either cat here they are giving uh, they are asking not supported so for ninth question the correct answer is option d guys mesh mesh network topology is not supported so mark option d now let's moving on to the 10th question guys 10th one what is the maximum data rate per packet of ethernet or ip so for 10th question the correct answer is option c 1500 bytes 1500 bytes so mark option c now moving on to the 11th question now what is the full form of profi net profi net so for 11th question the correct answer is option d guys process field network so mark option d guys so guys if you are benefited through our channel videos then definitely like the video guys 12th question next guys which of the following communication infrastructure is an example of wide connectivity so for 12th question the correct answer is option b pstn it is pstn guys so mark option b moving on to the 13th question which of the following is or are the limitations of satellite communication so for 13th question all these are correct answers guys that means option d all of the above is the correct answer correct option moving on to the 14th question now what is the frequency spectrum of mm wave for cellular communication so for 14th question the correct answer is option a 3200 gigahertz guys here g gigahertz is the important here also they have given uh, 3200 only similar to first option but here there is m yeah, megahertz not this is not the option it is gigahertz right so mark option a guys without any confusion now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one the output voltage of lm35 temperature sensor is dash proportional to the celsius temperature so for 15th and final question the correct answer is so before getting to know the solution so once again i am making you remember guys so you will provide we will provide huge number of 300 mcqs for just 500 rupees only till the exam day the validity will be there and up to 5 members can access this file for just 500 rupees only no extra charge guys 
five members combinedly you can give 500 rupee and you can each one will get 300 mcqs guys so this is the email id so prefer subject guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so moving on to the last question the correct answer is option c linearly proportional so friends these are the solutions for week 6 assignment of iot 4.0 course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share that with your classmates friends and within your whatsapp student groups guys and definitely purchase this 300 huge number of 300 mcqs pack for just 500 rupees only up to five members of your of you can uh, get each each one 300 mcqs case so this is the email id you have to mail me for so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us forever so that's it so until the next video goodbye thank you